What up in this John's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger in today's video I have to make a huge decision and it's literally just kind of what my off time has been deciding between the Husqvarna 250 and or the Honda 250 both of them are really great bikes and they have their pros and cons pro for the Husqvarna is literally the quick shift it is so broken con I guess it would be is just how nimble the bike is you can easily get the bar to scrape quicker and it kind of just iffy at times Honda a lot of power pro con just super heavy dude so without further ado let's go ahead and start a lap here on the Husqvarna and uh we're just going to try to compare both our times uh to you know just see what bike is going to be better for us coming up to Unadilla since we've had this big break uh what better than working on Walshugel probably the hardest difficult track with all these shadows going on and uh literally just ruts galore you know I definitely want to do at least three hardcore laps on both bikes and kind of see what my ideal is my fastest lap here is like a 217.3 so if I can literally surpass that I'll be a happy camper and then um yeah, kind of see what bike is going to have the better ideal time. So biggest thing right now is just staying off that brake, right? Staying off our brakes, really just letting the bike do its work and, and using the, the engine braking off the quick shifting, you know? It's the coolest thing about the Husky, you know? And the KTM has it as well. And I, I just don't enjoy the KTM's front end. Sometimes, like, I'm literally riding to the best of my ability and it will literally just front suck on me. And it's just like, I don't know what I did wrong, you know? I feel like the comfortability of the Husqvarna is just top tier right now. And it's just outdoing the the ktm so definitely that's why i chose the husqvarna it connects really well in a lot of things sometimes it, it's so nimble that it will get thrown around sometimes not really thrown around i mean the setup is really there planted but you can just see sometimes getting out of the out of the power band you'll start getting wonky that's not even actually i don't even think that's a bike physics it's a poboso physics so it's nothing really you can't do you know sometimes it's just getting wonky and i did change my my sprocket to a 1451 from a 1452 and um, I don't know if that was a good thing or not, but the bike seems way more reactive and like speed wise and torque wise. So, and let's get a nice triple, triple, triple to a good quad out. And right there off the bat, we ran a 213.9. So I don't know how much better it's gonna get, dude. I just blew my freaking time out of the water by a damn near three seconds. Holy smokes. Let's go for two more and see what our ideal can. If I can get like a 212, that's an ideal. Oh man, I'd be happy with that, even a 211. Hitting your marks are like automatically hitting your marks and just being wide open is the biggest key here. Like I'm, I'm okay with being down a second. That was probably the fastest time I've ever ran in my life. And I'm okay with that for sure. But we gotta be able to keep it on pace. And if I can at least stay in like the 0.7 down to where it's like maybe you're somewhere else I'm gonna be able to fix up on, which was probably here. Last time I kind of got out of that rut pretty bad. And as you can see, we're already breaking a little bit of time down. So that's good to me triple and then quad out easy peasy still hitting a 216 so still broke my time by by far so right now i guess i've kind of like went on a coasting spot to where i have not ran a single lap nowhere close to that 213.9 dude holy smoke i am so excited to see myself do that man that is kind of insane it's no it's no top qualifier for me but consistent 216s after that i want to see my I want to see my laps after that my ideal lap is a 213.3 so i really could have probably been pushing p to get to a 212 so all right let's go start these honda laps off right now and um let's see if we can just get anywhere close to that 213 dude that was insane man definitely you can feel uh being like more planted on this bike bike's gonna start back up with power immediately as soon as you touch the ground now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure out, right? 1451 on this bike as well. And I gotta figure out where the good power band is on the Honda and where it's gonna keep a lot of speed. And I think second gear is gonna be like my best friend, like my best friend almost everywhere. I think, I don't know. I'm very curious to see how it's gonna take this hill right now. I'm gonna have to really understand probably an upshift right now. Yeah, probably an upshift in the air after that little, little drive up. Oh my God, you can see the power, dude. Oh my God, that was kind of insane. That was kind of insane, dude. That thing just lifted up on me. <laughs> yeah, I did not get that for the Husky, bro. Ooh. Dude, you can see, like, that literally just ate up all those bumps right there because of how freaking heavy it is. Like, in the Husky, you have to literally, like, sit and... You have to, like, sit and stand a little bit. And yeah, that's the whole power thing. You have to sit and stand a little bit, dude. And that is, like, the... Ooh kind of iffy man you know what i mean all right good 219 yeah 219 all right third gear is actually giving me a lot of power more than i expected so i think i'm gonna stick in that spot you can see it right there we've already gained time yep just when i thought second gear was gonna be my best friend third gear becomes my best friend yeah 
Good jump. Wow. Wow, that was massive jump. That was some time right there, dude. I did not be able to do that on the Husky. Was not able to hit that on the Husky. Dang, this thing is pulling in third gear, dude. All the way up to like 60 miles per hour. So I'm gonna have to really use that. I'm gonna have to use that to my advantage. Already up a second. That's what I like to see. This is gonna be make or break. Ah, man, I broke out of the rut, but honestly, I'll take it. And look at the drive, dude. This thing just has ultimate power. Husky literally has the power, but it's not doing anything like that, dude. That thing over jumped that. Good jump. I'll take it. Slow her down. Survive. Let's go. <laughs> yo, I actually threaded the needle right there, yo. <laughs> nice. All right, we're up. Some good time. Triple, please. Triple, please. Triple, please. And out. All right, we almost replicated. We're at a 214. 214.9. So we almost replicated. We're almost there. I got to push a little bit harder because we're there. Probably right here is where I could save my time. And it is going to be right there where I save my time. Wait a second. I'm actually up time right there. Wait, that's kind of crazy. I'm actually up time right there. Instead of taking what I did, that's kind of... What? Interesting. Interesting. I did... Okay. I, I mean, I, I literally... That was a salvage line for me. Salvage line, but we're going to be good right now. Going to hit the big over. Yeah, that the, hot, the Husky's not hitting that. I have to try to get to like fourth gear in order just to have a good drive in that corner. Nice corner here. Going to go up to the S corner. Nice and easy. Or the bumps. Okay, we're kind of like back to where we're coasting, right? I was up 0.7, almost 0.5, and then we lost that time, but we're back on it again. That's huge. That's where we can make a lot of good time. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. We have to hit this correctly. A good line. I think a little bit more testing with this bike, a little bit more comfortability, and we are so there, dude. We are so there. 215, dude. I mean, look, I'm I'm not I'm not mad with that, right? Obviously, Husqvarna quick shift. Let's make it make sense. It is literally broken, right? And that thing is just insane to keep up different speeds, right? But I have seen potential in this bike to where we can get down to that if we kept testing. 214.9, literally a full second off from what the Husqvarna ran, but that would have qualified us as well. I'll take that, dude. And let's go ahead and see what our ideal time was, though. 214.6, right? So realistically, a whole second off. So the Husqvarna is definitely outbeating the Honda, but you can see the power, especially if I really wanted to put it to the test, we can even go faster. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Pa-pa, pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-